I'm Sean McDonald, and today we have a very special guest, Dave Benson Phillips. How are you doing? I'm fine, Sean. How are you? Great. It's, right, it's right. an honor and a privilege. Um, now, in case you don't know, which you probably do, Get Your Own Back was a famous show from the 90s into the early 2000s, and you have brought it here to the Fringe for a live version. Yes, I have. You're a gungeon people I, I live. Yeah, I am. I'm gunging people live and literally every day at the Gilded Balloon debating halls and that's literally every day half past four. There's a lot of games being played and then something ultimately ends up in the gunge. And then so explain for the people who don't know, what is gunge? And what does it mean to get gunge? Oh right, well gunge is uh, by television standards the ultimate humiliation that one could have. <laughs> Okay. Green slime everywhere. Yeah, so green slime everywhere, and in some cases, places where you would not think slime would go. Oh no, I'll wash your hand out is not nice. I'll tell you, I'll tell, I'll tell you sure, it, the stuff gets everywhere, it surely does. And um, so what's it made out of? And what's it made out of? I can't tell you, it's a oh, trade secret. Secret ingredients. Yeah, so it used to, a long time ago, it used to be corn flour. But, yeah. that's, what, that's what I knew it as corn flour, yeah. some water, but then I know um, tons of YouTube videos of how to get the right level of grunge. That's it. Be too hard, be too liquidy, yeah, be I, dry, I'm, funky. Not being real, I mean, one time we once mixed some stuff with corn flour just to find out as a See, yeah, yeah. how it went. And it was like being hit with a brick. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we, we got the. We got the we got the mixture wrong and it's yeah. just like too little uh, <laughs> too, too much corn flour. Internal bruising on, on, on the head it was nasty. Yeah. So going back to the concept of the show, yeah. did you come up with it yourself or how did um, that work? No, I was one of three people who came nice. up with it. So it was myself, uh, a man called Peter Leslie, Ooh. who was then a producer and director at the BBC, nice. and my agent and manager at the time, Mr. Brian Marshall. And between the three of us, we came up with this concept for a game show for me, almost like a vehicle for me, where I get to give children a wish. And, it is and the wish was to really just to humiliate yeah, your own back. Get yeah. your own back on the ground who's, who just gets on your nerves a bit. So it was a very simple concept. It's cool. And we put it together. But do you know what? The BBC didn't take it, first of all. Oh, really? Because they, they actually thought, and here's the quote the idea was childish. By childish. children's television standards, it was childish. It was childish. It was it's going to be too ch ch childish. childish. It was yeah. childish. It was a bit also considered infantile because the idea of getting a grown up to play a load of silly games and then you mm -hmm. covered them in gunge. What's that all about? Yeah. I mean, they didn't quite get it until, you know, some years later when they had a space in their schedule, they said, look, you know that idea you're talking about? Can we do it again? <laughs> yeah, can we, yeah, can we just have a look at it? And we did it as a 15 minute show. We did it as a pilot. And uh, then we did um, some more episodes off the back of that. And then here and, we are. Yeah, 14, you know, 14 years later, there was 14 of these series going out, you know, and in, in this country and other countries, and it was just Goes an to, unbelievable role. Goes to show as well, nothing's too childish. No, but nothing was too childish. Anymore. The show is just, it's more than grudging, it's like interactive games. Yeah. Um, what type of stuff are you bringing to the live show? Uh, well, we've got a number of games that we play with the people on the stage, and I've got to say at this point, much as we did a national advertisement saying children who are attending the Edinburgh Festival, mm -hmm. if you have a grown up that's getting on your nerves, get them on the yeah. show. What happened, and this was completely out of the blue, all we've had are just adults really? wanting to get their own back with adults. <laughs> so it's just completely adults doing a children's show, and it, for some reason it's very strange. But because um, what is the audience? Are you getting younger people? Obviously, you say older people. Is it a collective we get, mix? We get, we get a huge amount of adults coming to the show who grew up with it as children. And they, they say, I need to, I need to see this. Then they need to see it. And so, yeah, and some of them actually bring along their children. So they get to sort of, the next generation get to witness it. And you can see them going out and say, that was just an amazing hour. So great, great responses so far as well. It's, but do you know what? It's been a frighteningly great response. I mean, it was just something that's, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by it. I'm actually completely, if, if truth be known, overwhelmed by it. I, I knew it was going to be received, mm -hmm. but not as well as it has. I'm really thrown by it because I know that people grew up with it and they refer to many things as iconic. And you know, for some reason, they, they say that in the same breath as they say, get your own back. Yeah. And I'm like, going, oh, this is all sarcasm. No, Surely. this is a joke. This, this is a joke. Yeah, this is Surely not. Fast. And yet there are people who just who really do love it. I mean, we had um, we did a show yesterday, 
And to give you a prime example, this young man in his mid-twenties came up to me, flung his arms around me with tears in his eyes and said, thank, thank you, you for my <laughs> for childhood. Me. And it was just, do you know what, Sean, it's, it's the most, it's the most bizarre thing. I, I, I never, I'm humbled by it. I'm actually, I'm, I'm thrown, I'm humbled by it, I'm stupefied by it, I love it. And it's been so easy just coming back into it, because it was a TV show and now it's yeah. on the stage. The transition seamless? Um, once we realised what bits the what? people liked. Yeah, what ones didn't, have you changed the show throughout the um, well, well, we we'll do little bits just to tweak it because what we've suddenly discovered. As if we're coming back. <laughs> yeah, we did, I just thought, oh, well, let's just plan the one show. Everybody sees it and goes, oh, yeah, that'd be great. And then I've had people say, oh, we've seen it three times this week. Yesterday we did this. It's just like, what? what? Yeah. So, so I'm now having to sort of go back on, yeah, get, get my games brain on and come up with all manner of things where, you know, we change it just for the sake of the people who come back day after day. And I'll, yeah, again, another thing that shocked and humbled me, so that's great. That's good. So tell us, why should we see this show? Uh, you should see this show if because... not for nostalgia value of life. Okay, well, not for the only, but that, that seems to be the chief, the chief point, it's USP. Uh, but chiefly because it has silly games in it, there are grown-ups in it, and there are guns. So it's the three. The big three, the games, the grown ups, and the guns, it's all there. And I tell you what, when the theme tune kicks in, it's party time. That's it's right. Time. Yeah. It is, it's great. It's actually, it's great. Fun. Oh, yeah, and I'm in it as well. <laughs> in case you I'm, in it. I'm in it. Dave Benson Phillips. I'm, I am in it. it. I, I'm, yeah, just I'm a small part, though. No, just a wee part. Just yeah. a tiny yeah. I just come up and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gun. It's like, <laughs> That's it. That's what, for five minutes. You know what, man? Um, so, 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 the sign can't hold itself up. Uh, so uh, tell us again where can you see the show? Uh, you can see the show 4.30 every day at the Gilded Balloon the Gilded Debate Balloon. Balls uh, here at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival 2015. So, awesome. Yeah. It's an honour and a privilege. Oh, thank sure. you very much. No, thank you. That was really nice. Thanks. See you later.